Hello everyone, Suffolk Hobbit, and today, well, I'm going to do a little bit of an unboxing, well, I am going to do an unboxing of a miniature that I haven't really thought about getting till a last minute look on the Games Workshop website, and all of a sudden, I really, really wanted it. I've known of its existence for a hell of a long time, since it first came out, more than likely. has never appealed to me, whatsoever. But then all of a sudden, I looked at it and I thought, I really want that, I want that model. So, yeah, I bought it for myself. Um, I thought I'd do an unboxing because I can't see anything on YouTube where there has been unboxed. I've seen a few things of people that have actually put it together and painted and stuff. And of course it is Gandalf the Grey on a horse and cart. It's an awesome little miniature. It's, you know, it's good in uh, in battle game terms as well. So it's my, my uh, cat Arthur's cruising about. Come on there, buddy. Yeah, it's, uh, it's good in battle game terms, I think. It's got some good stats and stuff. I've still yet to get the new uh, Middle-earth uh, Lord of the Rings army lists, you know, the, um, the stats and things, the, the new book for the armies. Uh, I will be getting it very soon, but uh, in the previous editions it was not a bad call. It made Gandalf a bit more expensive, but I think it's quite decent. Um, but to be honest, I'm probably going to use him more as just a, an absolutely awesome miniature to paint and to... Uh, Give him a scenic base, like I've seen some other people doing stuff. I've got an idea in my head of how I'd like it to go, but I more than likely will use him in actual battles or at some point in the future. Probably a Shire uh, themed list with some like a Doom Zane, something mixed in with it, a bit of you know, a bit of oomph to help boost the hobbits as well. Um, but yeah, it's just I just fancied getting it. It just like I say, just for ages I've known of the uh, I've known of the model, and I just looked at something instantly just thought, I really want this. And for, for ages, I've never even I've sort of thought, yeah, it's cool, I'll get it eventually. But I was all sort of, uh, I think what's happened is I've noticed a lot of the miniatures have sort of discreetly disappeared from the Hobbit range. I mean, there's, there's loads of models that have just sort of gone. There's been no sort of uh, last minute warning, which I think is bad on Games Workshop's part. I personally feel they should say, look, we're going to stop production of these soon. Um, and they should sort of say, Give us a warning, because there's a lot of models I wanted to get that all of a sudden just were out of stock. There was no sort of, you know, you've got a week left. So I really do wish they'd do that. I've asked, I have find it quite frustrating. There's a few times I've, I've been putting the model off because I've had to get other things. And then it's just gone when I've gone to get it. So it's kind of a, 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 a wanting buy, but also a slight bit of a panic buy, I suppose. Because I suddenly thought, is this one of those things that's going to suddenly just disappear? So, yeah, I've gone for it, and there's a few other things I want to get as well before it's too late, because I feel that's going to happen soon, um, especially with all the new cool Forge Road releases and stuff. But um, but we'll crack on anyway. Sorry I've rabbited on already for three minutes, but, uh, yeah, let's get on with it. Gandalf the Grey unboxing. This should be awesome fun. All right, here we go. Let's get my camera set up ready for this, shall we? Okay, I think the camera's set ready. Is it all good? Yeah, we're all good. Cool. Okay, so here he is. Here's a little box. It's quite a small box, actually. I was expecting, I don't know, a bigger size, I suppose. I'm not sure. Okay, so here he is. So I was trying to find the camera a bit better. So here he is, Nor's Glory. Looks like you've got three sprues, got a nice little base, all the usual bits and bobs. So let's crack him open. It's not a bad price. He's uh, £25.50, uh, which isn't bad for. You know, fine cast. So we got one, we've got two, we've got three, and we've got a base. Lovely JD. Uh, is this 40 millimeter base? Is it 40 mils, 50 mils? Can't remember now, but a pretty decent size base. Okay, so that's that. All bits out of the way. So, okay, what should we start with? Let's start with the cool dude. Why not? So, we have Gandalf. And in the sprue, we have got the main man himself. And a nice little serene pose there. Lovely detail. I'm not sure if you can quite see this, actually. I do apologise. Mm. Don't play on the camera too much, because I've had some issues trying to get this to focus. How are we doing? No, it's not quite focus, is it? Okay, so there's Gandalf, anyway. Um, apologies about the camera. I don't understand why it's not... Mm. Oh, there you go, that's a bit better. So, sorry about that. So there's Gandalf on his pose, looking really nice and lovely detail on him. 
spin around to the back. So obviously this is where you can see it's all flat here. This is obviously where you've got to glue the seat onto them and things. Probably do a little bit of pinning, actually, I'd imagine. But um, but yeah, lovely detail. The hat's all nicely detailed, very decent. It's a very nice uh, miniature, nice size. Um, he's got his hands, as you can probably see, just there. He's got his hands on his lap, holding what's obviously the reins. Um, unfortunately, the model isn't designed so there's actually reins. You know, the, when you put it all together, there's no actual like plastic and the reins to actually go into his hands. So what I'm thinking of doing, what I've seen other people say on their blog posts and whatnot. It's so actually sort of model some, put some string or some green stuff in that, so he could put some little reins into his hands. I'll probably do the same. I don't think I'll use green stuff to be honest. I'll probably use, uh, well, probably, use, probably will actually use a bit of string or something along those lines. Um, just sort of tie with the horse as well, I'd imagine. Just it might give a bit more of a natural sort of like you know bow of the material as it's going from the hands to the horse. We'll see. I'll have a little play around. But that's my idea. And then anyway, so on the sprue, we've got one section of the cart there with the, the wicker, wicker sort of style cart pattern going on there. We've got the, the goods that are inside the cart, which are, well, wagon, but obviously they're, well, cart, yeah. Sorry, <laughs> it's the, obviously the fireworks and other bits and bobs. Um, I'm trying to see the detail in there. You've got a, uh, a little satchel, you've got a little box, and then a couple of like wrap rounds of um, fireworks and things. Couple of round little ball sort of things there as well, wherever they could be. And obviously, you've got the seat there, not a lot of detail to it, but to be honest, you're not going to need a lot because Gandalf's going to cover most of it up. So it's mainly the sides that you can see, which is more detail there. So that's the first sprue and the best one, really, for obviously because the main man's on it. What we've got next, let's go for this one. So, this one you have got. There you go, so you've got one of the wheels, you've got the base of the cart, and you've got another side of the uh, cart as well. That's the second side, I'd imagine. And yeah, not a lot I can say about that really. Um, looks, let's have a little look. So, obviously this side for this piece is obviously where the seat sits for Gandalf there. Um, the wheel is what the wheel is, obviously. And then you've got the actual cart base, and it looks to me that this is the top. Because you've got the little copyright indent thing there of New Line Cinema and the date and stuff there. So, the date, the symbol, sorry. So, obviously, this is the base, and obviously, this is where the wheels are going to go. And then you've got two lengths of uh, the, I don't know what you call it, to be honest, stirrups, or whatever you want to call it. Obviously, what the horse is, you know, tied up to. Now, obviously, this is fine cast, need I say more, but these are very, very thin. These are very, very flimsy. Um, I'm almost contemplating maybe, maybe dribbling a little, a thin amount of super glue or some something over the top of these just to give a little bit more strength. I feel it's going to need it. We'll see. It might be okay, I suppose, on the horse to put in. I'll have a little look when I assemble the model. Obviously, when it comes to assembling this model, I'm going to be doing it in a few sections. I'll probably assemble the car as one, maybe with one side missing, so I can paint on the inside. I'll probably keep the fireworks off as well, paint the fireworks up and all the bits individually first. Gandalf separate, the horse separate, so it's going to be about four or five pieces, and then glue it all up once it's you know, near its completion sort of thing. Maybe save the last few gluey bits for um, uh, for painting. Um, once I've glued it together, then paint over any sort of gaps, if you see what I mean, so like where the, where the pieces connect and stuff, I might not paint those bits till after I've glued it and then paint them over top to make it all nice and smooth, we'll see. But uh, yeah, but that's that one, so that's the more, that's the more boring sprue of the three. And then we've got the last sprue here, so you've got, can you see it? Yes, you can. So we've got the, the back of the cart there, the cartwheel, and a lovely looking horse. Look at that, that's a really, really nice horse there, so I like that's lovely sculpt. Very, very nice, really, really cool. And it's refreshing to see a horse without a saddle on, actually, which is kind of, <laughs> you see a lot, of, a lot of that type of horse in all sorts of war gaming. But um, yeah, he's got the, the blinkers there, so you can only look forward. Yeah, it's a lovely, lovely, lovely little design. Nicely sculpted. do apologise if it's not coming out very clear, I'm trying, but with what I work with, it's not always best. But there you go. And there you go, there he's there. Yeah, really, really nice. And uh, yeah, that is the unboxing of Gandalf in all his glory. So I'm looking forward to putting this together. But I think, 
I'm sure it was, I'm sure this was, but I'm sure this was originally in metal and it's been redone in the fine cast. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm sure it has been redone in the fine cast. Don't think this was a fine cast model to begin with. I probably should have looked it up first, but I'm sure this was metal originally. But then is that very thin pieces? No, I'm not sure. Well I think it was, but um but yeah, it's a very nice model. Not too bad on the flash, looking through these pieces. Um, there's a few tidy up bits needed, but overall, fine cast, there's no holes, there's no air bubbles, there's no issues, it's a very nice model, it's a very nice sculpt, Gandalf looks absolutely fantastic, um, the, and the wagon itself, you know, the, the, the wicker sort of effect to it, the door and wattle, you know, the wicker look, whatever they're sort of going for, it's really nice, it's nicely detailed, the, the wheels are lovely and detailed. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be a lovely little model to build and paint up. And like I say, one, I'm going to do in three or four sections and a few bits left over. And when I glue it all together, I'll deliberately, I'll deliberately leave the uh, the sections that I'm gluing with no paint on, bar the undercoat, obviously, and then sort of tie that up with a bit of paint afterwards, just to sort of finish it all off. Because sometimes I don't know if you guys are the same. I'll have them sub assemblies. I'll glue the pieces together, and then you're left with that sort of like super glue, sort of shiny you know, bleed where the glue's like bulged out or something in the sections, so I'll make sure that's uh, repainted over and stuff and give them a nice finish. But so uh, yeah, there's Gandalf the Great on cart, horse and cart, really, really cool, lovely little model. Um, who knows what the future holds for this model, maybe, you know, redesign it or just go out of production, who knows, but luckily I bought one, all is good, I can't wait to build it, paint it up, and I'll uh, give you a little video when he's all done, yeah. Take care guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you soon with some more video goodness. Many thanks.